Hi there guys, West Country Explorer here. Now I'm in Great Wishford in Wiltshire. It's not about three miles away from Wilton, near Salisbury. And it's also on the outskirts of Groveley Woods. And I'm going to be talking to you about Great Wishford O Couple Day celebrations. It's yeah, O Couple Day, also known as Restoration Day is the 29th of May. The reason it's known as Restoration Day is because it was the 29th of May 1660 that Charles II was restored to the throne. And it's also known as O'Couple Day because there was an incident when, whilst Charles was in a sort of height, in hiding from the parliamentary forces on uh, one occasion he hid in a oak tree to escape being captured by soldiers uh, obviously uh, in times gone by a lot of people a lot of like villages and towns that celebrated restoration day now great wishford they still celebrate it partly they're celebrating the restoration of Charles II to the throne but they're also partly celebrating the fact that they've got rights to collect wood from Groveley Woods so I'm going to be going to Groveley Woods in a minute to talk more about that but it's just one little bit that I want to show you here at the church it's an interesting little thing on the wall if you just bear with me here we have on the wall of the church the price of bread at various points since 1800 as you can see 800 it was three shilling four pence a gallon i'm assuming that means gallon all the way down to 2372 pound Quite a nice little church. Just down in that direction, you've got the Royal Oak Pub and the road going to Groveley Woods, which is where I'm going to go now. Ah, so here we are walking down the old part of the Roman road through Groveley Woods. Now, the villagers of Great Richford, they've had the uh, rights to collect wood here. Well, for, since probably about well centuries, probably I think at least twelfth century, if I remember rightly, from what I read. And it was in sixteen o three that it was a they were given a royal charter, kind of enshrining their right in law to come and collect the wood from here and the charter is saying that throughout the year they can collect the wood dead wood but on Oak Apple Day they've got the right to collect live wood that's no thicker than a man's forearm so what I'm going to do guys is I'll just twizzle you around a second yeah so they've they've got the rights enshrined in a charter to come and collect the wood. Now Groveley Woods was originally owned by Wilton Abbey but then in 1541 our favourite chubby king King Henry VIII gave the woods to the first Earl of Pembroke. So yeah a lovely rich landed gentry got to own the woods. And it was in 1825, the then Earl of Pembroke got a bit of a bee in his bonnet about the villagers of Great Wishford coming to collect wood from his woods. He wanted to have it for like pheasants and all that kind of stuff. And 
how dare these peasants come and collect wood from his woods and that. So he had it in his head that oh, horse rider coming up behind, I'll mind out of the way. Yep. Give him a bit of room. That's all right. Yeah, so he had, he got it into his head that they didn't have any rights to come and collect the wood. <coughs> so he, what he did was, he put out an edict, sort of basically saying, no, you can't come and collect the wood, you've got no rights. Uh, and a lot of the men folk from Great Richford, what did they do? They did nothing. No, they didn't didn't have the brass to sort of go up against the other Pembroke but one plucky brave young 19 year old by the name of Grace Reed she was like hang on a minute this ain't right you yeah, have got the right to collect a word we're gonna gonna stand up to this Earl of Pembroke so her and four other people four other ladies they came to down to the woods and collected wood, started collecting wood as it was their right. I'm going to twizzle you back round again guys. Yeah, so they came down to the wood, start collecting sort of the wood for their homes and that, and pretty much immediately got dragged up in front of the magistrate and given a fine, which quite rightly they refused to pay. So what happened? They got dragged down to the prison, spent the night in prison. Now thankfully they were only in prison for one night because obviously the officials looked into the matter, came across this 1603 charter and was like, ah, these people actually do have the right to collect wood. So they were released from prison and they've been allowed to carry on collecting the wood as was their right. So we got got five young ladies to thank for the fact that they stood up for their rights. Yeah, you'd have thought it would have been the men folk doing it, but no, they were too scared of the Earl of Pembroke, so we got some lovely young ladies to thank for being brave and having the balls to actually stand up and for their rights and that. Yeah, the villagers of Great Wishford, they still celebrate O Couple Day. What well, is every year on the 29th, they, some of the villagers wake up in the uh, very early in the morning, go around the village making a great noise and waking up all the other villagers. And they come down to Groverly Woods to collect uh, woods that they've got the right to. And once they've done that, they then go to Salisbury Cathedral for a special O Couple Day service. And after that, they come back to the village and have a good old knees up, like a feast and festivities. So one year I may go along and sort of watch the procession. So I might do that. But yeah, so that's, that's a story of Great Richford and its rights to collect wood and about how Five young ladies stood up for their rights against the Earl of Pembroke. So, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, guys. And in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care, and God bless.